Hey guys, what's going on? This is Steven from Steven's Guide to the Universe here with a really nifty tutorial. Now, if you're like me, you have Apple products that just got the brand new iOS 14 update. And that means that you can now make custom shortcuts using icons that you can download or send to your phone via your computer. Well, we thought that it would be cool if we showed you how to make these custom shortcuts with your own custom images, but with a little Steven Universe flair. So to start, we're going to be opening up our shortcut app. So what you're going to do is you can either scroll around or pull down your main menu and look in the search bar for shortcuts. And of course, you'll pop it up right there. And it looks like a, a weird funky S, like one of those S's that they used to draw back in high school in the 90s and 2000s. So we're going to press it and we're going to get a menu for all of our shortcuts. Now what we're going to do is we're going to press the plus sign in the upper right hand corner and that's going to create a shortcut for us or in this case new shortcut 3. Now we're going to get all these different apps and actions but we're going to be typing in the search bar for open app and it will let us choose what kind of app we want to open. So we're going to press the choose button and we're going to get a list of all the apps that are installed on our phone. Now, of course, you can scroll through this and go down to Facebook, or you can just type in the search bar, Facebook, or face just to save a little time. And we'll have the script completed. Now, we're not done just yet. What we're going to do is we're going to press the little circle with the three dots in the middle in the upper right-hand corner. From here, we're going to press Add to Home Screen. And we're going to get this little preview and description of what our app will be. So what it is, is we're going to press the little X to get rid of the title, New Shortcut 3, and we're going to type in Facebook. Now we're going to press the little icon in blue to the left of the Facebook word, and it'll give us this edit icon menu, which we can take a photo, choose a photo, or choose a file. We're going to go ahead and choose a photo since we've already downloaded the images to our phone. As you can see, we have some really nice custom made icon images. So for this one, let's say we'll use Stevens Gym. So we'll select it, and as you can see, it fits perfectly into the border that's needed to make the icon. So then we'll press Choose. And we have our custom icon and shortcut. Now we will press the Add button, and it will go ahead and add it to our home screen. So we can just close Shortcut like so, and we'll see in the last page of our apps, we now have a button for Facebook. Now when you press it, it will briefly open the shortcut menu, but then pull up Facebook, just like that. And I think that's pretty neat. So we'll go ahead and close that. And in case you were a little confused, we're going to go through it one more time. So we're going to go ahead and close our app. And I'm, we're going to delete this little bookmark right now because, you know, we need the space to make the next one. So we're going to scroll back to our homepage and we're going to pull down the menu and once again open the shortcuts app. From the upper right hand corner, we're going to press the little plus button. In this shortcut, we're going to press add action. In the search bar, we're going to type in open app. And we're going to select it in the results. Now at this script, we're going to press the choose button. And then we're, for this one, we'll go ahead and do Twitter. The next step we're going to do is we're going to press the little circle with the three dots in the right hand corner of the menu. Now we're going to press add to home screen. And we're going to rename this icon and screen name to Twitter. Then we're going to press the little icon next to Twitter. And for all intents and purposes, let's use Pearl. Yeah, I know Twitter has a bird mascot. Pearl's the bird mom. A little humor there. And then we're going to press add and it will add it to our home screen. And of course you can just drag it over to the uh, main page and just put it right down there. And there you go. When you press it, it'll open the shortcut menu and then take it right into Twitter. Now, a lot of people are using special apps and images that you're paying for. Well, we here at the guy don't feel like charging people like that. And we feel that's kind of wrong. What we did is we went ahead and made custom icons using the renders from Steven Universe Wiki to make you custom icon images. So now you can use these to open up different apps. You can use Peridot for YouTube, Lapis for your weather channel app, 
uh, Ruby or Sapphire for Tinder or TikTok. The options are limitless, and we'll be introducing new ones on our Facebook page at Steven's Guide to the Universe Future. And you can go on there right now and download them from our special gallery on our Facebook page, or click the link in this video, which will take you to our Google Drive, where you can download higher quality images of the icons. Well, we hope that we've been some kind of help to you in making your phone a little bit more Steven-y. As always, be sure to give us a like, subscribe to our channel, and turn on our notifications. And as always, this is Steven from Steven's Guide reminding you to let the universe be your guide. We'll see you next time.